this isn't the reason why, because he's a multi-millionaire a hundred times over. But I mean, my God, bro, if 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 Taker wants five million dollars, he just has to tell Triple H I want to get in the ring for another 10 minute match. Right. Like it's yeah. a, th that's unbelievable right. to me. Let's talk about uh, what we are, what we are commissioned to talk about today. Uh, you and I looked at a video, man, recently, um, and <laughs> and we were uh, asked to talk about it on the air here. We looked at the Undertaker video on Impulsive from Logan Paul, and he expressed how he has the itch. And just that desire for one more match is just not going to go away, man. He hangs out backstage and he says his hellos and he occasionally watch matches. But he has to leave because that itch gets uh, worse and worse if he stays around, Vince. What say you about this, man? Listen, man, I have all the respect in the world for Taker. And I would never, ever, ever, ever say anything uh, negative about Taker. Um but, man, I swear to God, bro, I wish I had – Triple H, if you're listening, I wish I had a gig with the WWE, Chris, where, like, every three to five years I could just come back and write one show for, like, five mil and then disappear three to five years and come back and write another show for five mil. What a freaking racket, man. Unbelievable. Here's the only thing I could think of, bro. Listen, man, I watched his last match. And if I was Taker, I would not have wanted that to be my last match either. Because, mm -hmm. you know, Father Time kind of caught up with them. Also combine that with, you know, the many, 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 many injuries he's had throughout his career. You know, it's not going to be a Dave Meltzer five-star match. Bro, he's only gotten older since then. So I wow. can't imagine, you know, t you know, turning back the clock and it being better. Here's the only thing I'm thinking of, bro. Did he say that on the Logan Paul show? Because is that his next opponent and he can just throw Logan Paul all over the place and Log Logan Paul will flip flop and fly for him and make him look like a million bucks that's the only thing i could think of because for him at this point in time to have like a a a a, a competitive match that looks good uh that's that's a lot to ask for 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 that body you know so what what uh when you said last match what match are you referring to whatever the last one he had was i mean aj uh, well, that was the Senate. Was that the last match? Mm -hmm. It was. I'm talking about the last match in the ring. The last match I saw him having a ring. Him and Goldberg. Uh, no, it was him and Goldberg. It was, that was his last singles match. And I think he had a match with Roman Reigns against Shane and Drew. Uh, yeah, I, I don't remember. I, I remember one of the last times I saw him in a ring. It, you know. Yeah, it's probably him and Goldberg. That was. Yeah. Uh, that was not good. <laughs> that was yeah. a really really bad match then he had the one him and kane against dx which was a yeah uh, that was bad too. too that was yeah. bad too you know the one with the one with uh aj they were able to film that so mm -hmm. i'm sure there were a lot of retakes and edits and stuff yeah. like that but to do it live in the middle of the ring is going to be something completely different agreed yeah i think him and ajax he was a pretty good match and then they choreographed that really well yeah uh, if there's any last match i think that was a really good one because of the theatrics and it yeah. ended up with him getting on his bike and riding off into the sunset that was yeah. and then he retired you know and then he got into the hall of fame you know that's really and he bro, said he retired you know, the Undertaker. He, bro he left his boots in the ring remember we yeah that? I yep. mean, went and kissed uh michelle mccool and you know but he left his boots in the ring at wrestlemania 33 when he lost to roman reigns but that yeah. wasn't he wasn't over with. He kept going after that. Then he retired the Undertaker. He said the Undertaker's retired, and, and that's the reason why he doesn't come out in the Undertaker. He kind of comes comes out in the uh, ABA gimmick, you know, kind of the a hybrid between Undertaker and Dead Man Taker is usually what he does now, like he did at WrestleMania. So. Bro, do you ever think? Do you ever think there'll be a figurehead? That one time will say to one of these veterans, ah, you know what? 
We don't, I don't think so. Yeah, like you think that will ever, ever, ever happen. I mean, my God, they, they didn't say no to Ric Flair for crying out loud. Especially with Triple H and Shawn Michaels at the helm. You already know that's not going to happen, man. They, they want to see money. They want to see draw. They, they want to see one of the, they want to see a brother come back and, you know, hey, man, you know, I'm, on, I'm in full support, brother. You, you come back and do your thing. But I do think, man, I, similar to, I was agreeing, I, I'm agreeing from what you said. As far as just you, you how you know how those wrestlers are, man. You know when when they come on the shows, when they say that they know it's going to go viral, they know it's just seeds planted. And I really think that this is a seed planted for a Taker Logan match at WrestleMania, man. I, I do I too. See that I happen. do too. Yeah. I, I I believe that, and I believe that. Taker would not have to do much because right. he would have Logan Paul just flying all over the place. Yeah, I mean, respectfully, if there is any last person that would, you know, fit the bill, you know, that would be that would protect Taker, it would be Logan Paul. I mean, I think that that would be a plus. He he gets tons of heat. Yeah, and plus it'll be a good crossover. I mean, with Logan's Logan Paul's following coming in, knowing that he's going to, going to have a WrestleMania match against the Undertaker, you know, what I mean, I think that that it, it can it, it can be build exciting and build good, but then you have to all also consider, dude, sixty. You know, what I mean, he'll. It's just like well, can uh, you what, imagine if they let? Much? Can you imagine if they let professional? Put, professional athletes come back after they officially retired yeah, Can you yeah imagine exactly. what that would look like michael jordan's like 59 years yeah old. exactly <laughs> yeah 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 right 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 one more run one yeah. more run <laughs> barry bonds barry bonds stepping up to the plate at right. 55 yeah exactly. yeah uh. check out brain buster the daily quiz that tests your wwe knowledge with winning streaks stats and more it's time to see if you're up for the challenge what do you think? Taker and Logan Paul on the bill, on, on the poster, on the marquee, does that seem interesting from a fan? Bro, if, if you're asking me, a 63-year-old man, I'm not buying a ticket to watch Undertaker <laughs> Logan Paul. I mean, I'm no disrespect to Taker at all, but... Bro, it gets to the point where there's nothing else you can do in your career. Yeah. You've done it yeah. all, bro. Like, there's nothing else you can do. So, like, I would not, me, for me personally, it's not personal. I would have no interest in watching that match. You think the fans would be interested in that? Probably. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, they're yeah. like, oh my gosh, man, yeah. what a what a killer match! It's gonna be amazing. You know, yeah. you know how a lot of these wrestling fans are nowadays. They'll accept yeah. anything that comes and be, you know gets delivered to them. And here, here's my thing, man. With this, from a psychological perspective, that dopamine kick isn't going to go away. So you're just going to have to be able to tame it and manage it. Like it's just not. The more you're around that the more it's going to want to come back and no match is going to be good enough. But Even you know, if it's a Meltzer five-star match with Logan Paul, he's going to be like, oh, one Chris, more. Chris, you know what the problem is, though? Here's the problem. Bro, we just talked about this. I am sure, without a shadow of a doubt, that every professional athlete that retires has that same dopamine. Sure. The only problem is, bro, they don't attempt to come back because they would never be allowed to. Yeah. They would never, they, they would be told in the nicest way, there isn't a roster spot for you, whatever. They would not be allowed to come back right. at 45, 46 years old. In wrestling, nobody says no to these guys. Correct. I mean, yeah. that's exactly what it is. And and think about it, bro. Like, this isn't the reason why, because he's a multi-millionaire a hundred times over. But I mean, my God, bro, if, if if Taker wants $5 million, he just has to tell Triple H, I want to get in the ring for another 10 minute match. Right. Like, it's yeah. a, th that's unbelievable right. to me, bro. Yeah. Like, and, and that that's why I'm saying I don't, bro, is it really the dopamine? Because professional athletes get over it, bro. They don't keep coming back. I think it is because I think the difference between other professional athletes is that they are really focused on protecting their legacy and paying it forward. You know what I mean? It's just like at this point, it's like 
like I said, Jordan's pushing 60 years old. He's like, you know what, man? I already <laughs> – my legacy was semi-tarnished when I went to the Wizards. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't want another – wizards time yeah. i don't want people to have recency bias and remember me as a six man you know uh, for the wizards i want people to know about 90s bulls and that's what people know jordan by and like there's no it would completely tarnish <clears throat> the recency of his legacy because either you're building your legacy or you're protecting it and i think for a lot of these athletes they're really focused on protecting it because they can't build it anymore there's there's nothing else to build on your legacy. If Michael Jordan comes back at 60 years old, mm -hmm. there's nothing else to build there. Same thing with the, the, the Undertaker. He's coming back at, at 60 years old. There's nothing else to build. At That's this perfect. point, it's just a addiction that he wants to fix. It's just a it's just a hit that he wants that he can't like he, he said in the video. The more he's around it, he has to leave because he's thinking about one more match. That's Type, that's the type of speech of people who wants that, who wants a hit, man. Wants that. Well, the, 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 whenever I'm around that, I want to leave too, but I want to leave because I just want to get the hell out of there, bro. I, <laughs> yeah. not, I had no desire. It's like, <laughs> I don't care about no dopamine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need no hit. Yeah. I mean, when, especially if you've, if you're, if, if the majority of your adult career, was so uh predicate was was so used to was so surrounded with the fans reaction with the theatrics with the with the garb with the wardrobe with the theme song with the entrance with the gimmick like yeah. that was his life for so long he's only been mark calloway for a few years you yeah. know he was the undertaker for 30 and he was Mark Calloway for a few, as far as what people know him now. Mm -hmm. And so it's hard to get out of that Undertaker mentality into Mark Calloway if he's around it. And I think he yeah. just needs to go. He just needs to step away from it and say, you know what? It's always going to be there. Like that itch is always going to be there. That one more match is always going to be there. But am I building am I building my legacy now or, or yeah. should I just protect it and say, you know what, I'm going to pay it forward and, and, and move on. So yeah. uh, I do think uh, WWE would uh, maximize on a taker versus Logan Paul on the ticket for WrestleMania. I do, I do think that that would from a business standpoint, I, uh, that would draw. I do think it would draw people, especially Logan Paul's. Like, think about it. Logan Paul's people, I imagine a bunch of them aren't wrestling fans. If he talks about on his show, I mean, they're not wrestling fans, but they know who The Undertaker is. Mm -hmm. So if he, during WrestleMania season, if he's telling his people that he's going against The Undertaker at WrestleMania, that's definitely going to draw his people over and help yeah. WWE. So that's true. That's the type of things they're looking at. So.